SBs are made for skating, right? Of course. What you got? Sorry. Bro, those are pink boxes. What are you doing? I took right these now? from Brendan. I'm gonna skate in his oh, wow. Daylog. Oh, finally skin. sold. Oh, but where I can are skate they? these high hairs. I think. Oh those no. Are better, so oh. Just, oh. I mean, they're made. They're made You're not gonna skate in those. I just. Whoa, hey! I just sold them. What? Whoa! You're never gonna skate in these shoes. Yeah. I sold them online. What the? Wow. You sassy. Save the what does for P Rod. What the dunk? Hello to every single member of the FS Army watching across the world. Of course, I'm your co-host, Brendan Dunn. I'm Matt Welty. I'm naked. And we have with us here today, Paul Rodriguez, P-Rod, the Rod Father. Hey. Hey, thank <laughs> you. you like that? Rod what is, is uh, What's up, everybody? How you doing? Thank <laughs> you guys for having me. One of the longest tenured signature sneaker athletes in Nike history. Talk about it. Yeah, man. Deep. I guess. It I guess deep. so. Wow. Yeah, oh. that, since you put it that way, that's, that's I feel... That's really cool. That hit right there. That hit There's hard that. right there. <laughs> this is hitting right now. I appreciate for all it. Of us. Thank so, you. Thank you for being here. My pleasure. Thank you. We're going to talk guys, about your sneaker real. history. The first thing we want to talk about, though, the shoes everybody has on feet. So, Wealthy, how did we get here? What? Oh. What are you Woo! wearing? This is that we never talk this about is a special it, day on not so my, many not my normal, Not my normal thing, but we got P Rod here. Hey. Got the J's, no rod. Um, <laughs> Like, I don't know, it's just the right time to wear them. Sometimes we have like Nike athletes on and they just assume that I'd always wear Jordans because they're Jordan athletes or whatever. And I wore these, but got a skater on the show who did a cool cement print shoe. So I wanted to wear them. Yeah, appreciate it. Somebody White get, cement that, threes. get that boy some Kente cloth. Yeah. <laughs> He's so good right now. God. I recently got those too. I'm, I'm excited, looking forward to wearing them. I haven't, haven't pulled them out yet. SB3 is confirmed. Wait, 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 one more time. Oh, uh, <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. I'm just saying those right there. I'm just, <laughs> don't start no rumors right now. Like. Shout out to my boy, Brian, um, over at Crush, man. I like to wear shoes with intention. We got P-Rod on the show. We've been wanting to get you on here. We have a Thank little, uh, we've been kind of talking for a minute. So the fact that you got here, man, I wanted to make sure I pay respect. And I want to say to people, it's like, man, for anybody that has a problem with people that wear SBs that don't skate, I hear you. It's bigger because like this is a black owned business and they're happy that I'm supporting them. So it becomes a bigger conversation, a bigger topic when it's like, hey, I'm a horrible skater. Hmm. But I'm a lover of the culture and a lover of black owned businesses. So shout out to Crush, man. I have the uh, What the Ooh. Paul's on. Big flex. Dunks. Talk about it. Uh, these are a, um, a shoe I released back in uh, May 21. Mm -hmm. I had uh, over 10 shoes with Nike, signature shoes. And uh, it was just an idea I had when they wanted me to do a, a, a dunk collab. And it just popped in my brain one day. Like, I remember what the dunks, the mm -hmm. original ones, how big of a hit they were. And I figured I had a big enough catalog of shoes with Nike. By that point, we felt strong about it. I just didn't know how, like, how well received it was going to be. It, yeah, it blew my mind. It so. was a thing. Did you have to decide between calling it what the Paul and what the P Rod? You know, originally I I always just referred to it as what the P Rod, but I guess Nike just went with what the Paul. We actually never had like a real distinct conversation with it. I actually didn't know it was ca wasn't called what the P Rod until I heard the public calling it the what the Paul. And then I kind of just kind of followed along because like oh, okay. I don't want to sound like a dude out of the loop with his own shoes. So I was just like, all right, like okay. Um, I'm back on Air Maxes. This Wait, are, is, are you wearing shoes right now or not? Just barely, man. This is the last time officially for these. Um, That's yeah. a real old. OG, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. The real OG. Yeah, we're gonna retire. Yeah. You gotta crush yeah. your soul. one out. I've, there's, there's crumbs all over the floor for this. <laughs> yeah, those things are. Away. We had fun times. That's all that matters. That's all you <laughs> that's all you have is memories. You know? Yeah. Paul, those are a pair of sneakers that you obviously love, but what's the most regrettable sneaker that you've ever purchased? I don't know if you guys would even be familiar with this brand. It's called Action. Yep. It was a skate brand, okay, yep. back in the day, and um I must have been like 13 and I would go skate at my friend Nigel's house and he knew this pro skater that would come by hang out and skate But he would always sell us some product out of his trunk yep. <laughs> And his name was Weston Korea shout out Weston. That's my brother now. I love him, man um, But he sold me a pair of these uh, these Kareem Actions that mm -hmm. he had for 20 bucks and I thought they were so cool. And I love them, but 
and it wasn't by any fault of his own. I, uh, they were just like size nine and a half or 10. And I was like so little, I was like size <laughs> seven, seven and a half. And I still, I just wanted them so bad. That like I, Doug I still with bought the them, yeah. I just bought them and I tried to rock them and skate them. Everyone would make fun of me looking like, looking like I had clown feet or something yeah. like that. So that's the only pair I could really remember like regretting. Important piece of your sneaker history. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How? <laughs> I, mean, I feel like maybe training in those, you know, it's like a handicap, right? Like you, you're trying to skate with the way off size shoes on, you build up the reps, and then once you put well, on a real pair. I would ask you this. I like that theory. Did like you that. love the shoes because of the skaters whose shoe it was, or was it because you just liked the silhouette, or like? It was, was both. Okay, was okay. Both. So like, shortly after that, Kareem Campbell, iconic skater. Shh, come on, um, then you were in the city stores, he, uh, right? yeah. yeah, exactly. He he ended up sponsoring me and being my boss, so it was really a cool full, full circle moment. Hey. And you know, now that I get to talk about the story, I don't actually regret it, but those that's the one time in the moment I remember being like, I think I made a mistake. Right. <laughs> like, and it wasn't about the shoe, it was about the size. Just It just wasn't working. They were at least two sizes too big. Yeah. We all make mistakes, man. I'm, yeah. I'm there right but we now. bounce back. I'm hoping to. <laughs> I, I don't, I, yeah, I don't know, man. I don't there's any bounce left in those shoes. <laughs> yeah. No more bounce? <laughs> Let's talk sneaker news. The first piece of sneaker news we want to discuss is this Corn Adidas collab hey. leaked by yours truly. I never thought that we would see this happen, and this isn't a shoe for me, but I'm kind of glad it's happening, and it makes perfect sense 30 yeah. years later. Yeah. All, All day you dream about shoes? Question yeah. mark? Hey. <laughs> I assume you're not into Adidas. Were you ever into Corn? I used to mess with Corn back in the day. Yeah? Did yeah, you have yeah. a tracksuit? Did you have an Adidas tracksuit? I never did. I never did, but I agree with you. This makes perfect sense. I, I actually am like dumbfounded that this yeah. hasn't happened. Okay, this you think never they should have pulled the trigger on this before? I mean, it should, in the moment, the marketing opportunity, that song was massive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The crazy part is there's, a, there's another one. There's a white leather one with black stripes on it. Uh-huh. That kind of looks like, you know, like the white DCs with the black on the heel mm -hmm, that like mm -hmm. all the people who listen to new metal would wear. It, it, it seems a little late, but it's also like, I feel like culture right now is in a very nostalgic place and we love seeing throwback stuff. So I think it's, it's good timing. And we're also in that era of doing the official collabs. Even Nike SB back in the day was all this wink and nod true, reference true, and stuff. True. Now we get the official mm -hmm. link up. Yeah, yeah. Everyone's getting paid now. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty, Excited about this. I'm like the smallest were, were corn, corn fan. fan. Smallest, like only the hits. You know, <laughs> so just from a visual standpoint, and me being like a kid growing up, like, you know, coming from Trinidad as an immigrant, growing up in Atlanta and shit, like, I got introduced to this band through another friend, and, you know, it was just like, whoa, what is this? Like, I identify with like the long hair, the baggy clothes. It felt like hip hop, but it wasn't hip hop. And um, I'm actually gonna buy a pair and support these, man. I wanna put on some big Jinko pants and uh -huh. leave me the hell alone. Yeah. I can't wait. I might get yeah. on a skateboard. Okay. All right. Next bit of sneaker news. Nike SB, Shad wear his second shoe. Hey. First one a couple years ago, mm -hmm. you know, there was that brown and mm -hmm. reddish Travisy looking pair. Now there's this. Looks like it has an air bubble on the heel. Paul, are you? Yeah. This is actually ready? my first time seeing these, but anything is shot, I'll back it. Nike Love doesn't like shot. let you see the shoes early or get your opinion on like the skate shoes? No, not, no. Not really, unless it's yours. If it's a project you're directly working on, then yes. But they keep everything pretty, pretty hush keep because they know how easy it is for it to leak out there, and and they're they're really like big on trying to like. I mean, you're P Rod. They don't. The they don't. They don't trust you enough to be like, we can send Paul the shoes, and he's no. not going to post them on the internet. No, because I've accidentally done that without knowing. <laughs> no, <laughs> without knowing. I didn't know that. Oh, yeah, like, yeah. I would get a box of shoes and I'll be hyping, I'll post and then, I'll, you know, sure enough, shout out Scuba Steve. He'll be the guy they sent a uh, text to me like, hey, Paul, can you please take those down? They're not supposed to be shown Wait, for another month. Wait, what shoe was it? I, I mean, which time? <laughs> I, one time I remember was some Supreme uh, collab ones and I was all hyped, like, yo, I got some Supremes. And then he's like, ah, yeah, those aren't supposed to be seen for another two months. Can you take that down? I'm like, well, a heads up would be nice. Oh, come <laughs> you on. Know, a heads up I wasn't on, on the email, yeah. once again. Come on, corporate. <laughs> but from what I can see here, I like these. Uh, but like I said, man, anything a shot, I back. That's my bro, man. He's, he's one of the best skaters ever, one of the best people ever. So I love this. I'm excited about these too. It's a good reminder that there's a lot of Nike SB shoes that are not dunks. You know, they make other shoes. They make actual skateboarding shoes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you Absolutely. see? Paul, recently there was the, when the SB4s re-released, there was like that stipulation on sneakers that you have had to bought a non-SB Dunk 
to be entered into the raffle to get. That's the, a real thing, or is that a rumor? It, no, it happened. So, Paul Rodriguez wow. is not buying SB shoes, brother. So yeah, so when the white, <laughs> so when the white and green fours, which we're gonna talk about later, when they restocked on the sneakers app, they gave like early, exclusive access to people who had purchased a not in the past year a non dunk SB shoe. I fuck with that. Yeah. I mean, I might, maybe not everybody could back that, but if you bought a non dunk SB shoe, so like to help support the rest of the line, yeah. I think what they're trying to do is like trying to stop the, uh, like just the people who are just following the trends and the hype and get, get more into the nitty gritty. My brother Paul, we are here to talk about you and your sneaker history. What is your earliest memory of sneakers? Like when they started to matter? I would have been eight years old, so whatever grade you're in, second, so just like third, yeah, there's somewhere in that what zone. If? And uh, I was a small kid and my friend, a couple doors down from me, he had Jordan, I, I don't even know. It's the one that had the colorful bottom with the little like indent under there and it like the strap Jordan sixes come maybe? Over, probably the sixes. So I begged my mom, mom, please, can I get a pair of these shoes? They're the coolest shoes ever, blah, blah, blah. So finally after begging her, she took me to the mall, I went to go get them. I was so excited. Please gotta get, you know, size three and a half of this and that. <laughs> We're so close. And they are like, yeah, they brought it. And I was like, Wait, how come it doesn't have an air bubble? They're like, <laughs> they oh yeah, we, we don't make air bubbles. I Little forget what seven. size. Yeah, oh, like yeah. we don't get air bubbles in air. And I, my 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 heart was broke. I was just boom. So uh, we didn't get them. I, I was like, I can't, I can't do it. Oh, I was so sad. So that's why when I did my first P Raj shoe, my only stipulation was like, no matter what we do with design, it has to have an air bubble just to get. <laughs> Back. That yeah, trauma, yeah, that yeah. bubble trauma. Back at yeah. That. yeah, I had to have We're gonna make bubble. up all the bubbles we missed, bitch, yeah. right now. Yep. Bubble it yep. up, bubble, yep. bubble it up. Yep. Come yep. on, yep. he got some bubbles. We, we bubble back. <laughs> <laughs> we bubble back. <laughs> Paul, you signed to Nike SB, I think it was 2004, right? Yeah, yeah. You can't mention SB without talking about the real SB, the late Sandy Bodecker. What are your memories of him? He seems like such a special guy Sandy, in the history of Nike, yeah. in the history of sneakers. He was really an inspirational guy. I mean, he started out in the uh, employee store back mm -hmm. in the 70s, I think. And he worked his way up to like super high level in Nike. He was a really um, out of the box dude. And the whole time I had met him, he had already been fighting cancer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Since the whole time we knew him, he was a fighter, you know? So that's one thing that always really inspires me about Sandy. But he really cared about the brand. He really mm -hmm. cared about doing it right. Because Nike tried to do skateboarding before. before and it just, up. yeah, it was just, it Shit. just didn't it go It wasn't well. the one. It just wasn't ready. That, and also they just they just thought they can do it in a, in a way it was just like, hey, we're Nike. We just throw a bunch of money at it. It'll work. But Sandy came in. He learned the culture. He embedded himself in the culture. When, when he brought me on and I, I met him, talked to him, I really saw that about him. He would just wear the wildest stuff, the wildest shoes, the wildest he clothes. He seems so cut from that cloth that maybe doesn't exist anymore of old school Nike weirdos. He's yes, really eccentric he is. He is. He was an eccentric company. for yeah. sure. His office was the best thing ever. That he had, he had bought this warehouse that he built from scratch. He built a bowl in there. Mm -hmm, he built mm -hmm. a recording studio in there. The artwork, the Original coolest little eBay dunks. Rings. Oh, I mean that was that 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 was like mellow for him yeah shout out to sandy i miss that guy he was a really really Rest sweet man paul speaking of you know the old days i know you've had you had 10 shoes with nike sb but i feel like your first one is the most iconic in the lineage of the the p rod shoes you know you have mexican blanket colorways mm -hmm. dash utera j rod etc what do you think like the lasting um impact of that first signature p rod shoe was for me what it means to me is like you know that's the culmination of a kid's dream coming to fruition you know what i mean like skating in my backyard with my friends all day all night you know falling down getting up learning tricks and just dreaming to one day skate side by side with my heroes you know to me that that moment right there was something that like i didn't even know could be part of my dream you know so i was only dreaming about like these endemic brands that were within skateboarding like oh, i want to get a signature shoe on there signature board you know that's that's the key the signature board and shoe that makes it official so i didn't then even I made know it. that's it yeah. yeah but i didn't even know that nike was even something i could dream about because you know i grew up michael jordan era mm -hmm. being a bulls fan being or a jordan fan watching all the movies going to the like mall for the jordans yes everything so like little just little kid just wanted to be like mike era <laughs> it just was mind-boggling like i couldn't even wrap my head around it so to me that's that's ultimately what it was it was just a kid's dream coming to fruition in the moment so that to me that's 
will always be the most special one and is why it, it, it's lasted for me. And I'm still here, you know, so it's crazy. To still be here, you had to go through a journey. And that journey, you saw so many SBs. What is P-Rod's idea behind the best SB of all time, Dunk? The oh, you gotta pick ones. one. You gotta the Heineken pick. dunks, I really, those just jumped through my butt. That's number one? No, no, but like I said that as you were saying that, so <laughs> then now, you, now you threw me. Oh, 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 let me finish, yeah. let me finish. What did they call the, were they the sea crystals? Yeah. Those, those ones nuts. actually were. Uh, Suede was nuts on there. Were the ones that I always regretted skating. Because they got so cooked. And then mm -hmm. not keeping a pair. Right, and right. Just, but. Uh, Tiffany, Supreme Low, Supreme I mean, no, I don't say that. Yeah, the ones with the stars. everything. True. The ones with the, the stars on the sides, the, there was the blue, red, and orange. Those are great. The Floams, you remember the Floams? Yeah. You had a pair of those? Yeah. Did you resell them? I did. Well, <laughs> Actually, I'm mad that I did then. <laughs> I'm mad that I did them then because if I'd have saved them and done it later, it would have been way better. <laughs> For people at Nike, is that something that you have to like, try to keep on the low? I actually don't know. I guess I'll find out. <laughs> if Scuba calls me and says, Paul, you shouldn't have said that. Uh, <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. But I, dude, I had to. It. You had mentioned, you know, uh, your friend selling you that the actions back in the day. I know that's a big thing in just skate culture in general. You know, a, a pro or AM at the time gets like 30 boards a month, and obviously you're only going to skate three or whatever, and they're not going to expect you to actually skate 30 decks, but then sells them to everyone at the park to kind of recoup a bit of the money. Were you ever like going out and like pitching your. Oh, dude, I'm a hustler for yeah. sure. Talk about when, when I was an AM, before I started actually making money, I had this really cool hustle going on. So there was this Albertson supermarket that I used to skate behind every day. I had a little loading dock. The junior high school was really close. It's where I went to junior high school. That's where I fell in love with skating. Mm -hmm. And so as I started becoming somewhat of like a little hometown hero buzz in the neighborhood, I started getting sponsored. Uh, the kids would see me back there skating all the time. and. And you know, a couple kids sometimes, like, hey, do you have an extra board or something or whatever? If they had a bad boy, I would hook them up with it. But then I noticed like kids would just come all the time. And I was like, man, I need to start selling these kids Send these boards. Shop. Everything I'm getting for free, no matter what I sell it for, that's 100% profit. <laughs> that's that's out, net baby. profit right there. So, and I remember I thought I was the biggest baller. I had a little shoebox in my bed with $500. Well, you, you, had, had, the, you had the famous, Shoe box full of uh, yeah, the cash, box. and it was like five hundred dollars, yeah. but it was all in like tens and ones. Yeah. <laughs> so it cents. looked like a lot. Come and on, I was man. like, and I thought Rich. it was. I remember one time a kid's mom actually came and wrote a check after it, and then uh, like, yo, I'm not trying to get the government involved. In this. Yeah, <laughs> come on, mom. It got, the IRS does not need to know. <laughs> that's about when you're too hot. Yeah. When yeah. that kid brings his mom, oh, you no, got to stop. The heat came down on me because the actual the local skate shop that I used to skate for just that like they were giving you the stuff then no 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 i was actually sponsored by brands at this time okay. getting directly but the local skate shop actually snitched on me they called my sponsor <laughs> at the time it was girl skateboards they called them <laughs> and uh they called Carol show up to shake you down <laughs> no or? no they called him and then uh i remember sam Smythe called me and said hey man uh i got a call from a valley skate and surf uh are you are you selling stuff at the back of that albertson that you're skating? i was like uh, yeah, I still got love for them because uh, they were where I, I first got started from. But I, I was too young to understand that I was jamming them Yeah, of them course. Up, you know what I mean? I was setting up shop on their block, you know what <laughs> I mean? I, I didn't understand I was jamming them up. It's, it's really interesting to talk to you when it comes to SBs because there's so many golden eras. This newer golden era, where it's like your shoe is included in this particular shoe and uh, the chunky donkeys and mm -hmm. other things like that. How do, you, how do you feel about that resurgence? I felt good about it because it was like, to me, it was nostalgic, you know, because I, I was there in the original like donk explosion time. I just have nothing but great memories from that time. So the fact that they came back and it's exploding and it's still going now and I've Be been careful, able talk to- talk about sneakers exploding. I mean, this is kind of like a triggering <laughs> thing No for pun intended, my, like, bad, yeah. my bad, my bad, Yeah, they exploded. Well, no, it's more like disintegrated. <laughs> so I think we're all right, but uh, that thing, that's right. crazy. But the fact that I got to like on this second wave be involved in, you know, designing yeah. a couple pair of dunks and then one that like people really took to, I'm, I'm really grateful that that I was able to be involved with that. And I'll look back at this era 
uh, with great memories. So it's so exciting too. I feel like the SB Jordan Four has been such a moment too, such a cool crossover collaboration. You were so one of the good. first people with it when you had the black, the wear test pair mm -hmm. You're training doing, in yeah. there, doing plyometrics in the gym. Yeah, like. yeah, yeah, man. You guys really, really, really see that. <laughs> I still have those. I still keep them. I still go work out in them. People were speculating and still are that that black colorway is going to release. Is that ever going to be a thing, or is that just a wear test sample? To me, um, I feel like that happens all the time, where they just yeah. bring it out in black and it's a just a sample to try the shoe out I feel like that's probably the case like that's just was the wear test sampled so that like it was made it harder to notice but like right. you can't fool the real sneaker heads um <laughs> right. were you keeping it a secret well that's actually another situation that I messed up I because I didn't think anybody, did you, did I, you I don't sell, know did you sell your wear test sample I still have those I still, <laughs> no no I have them still but I, I would I would I skated them I test them out whatever and I was like I was like, you know, okay, I did that. But then I would just wear them to the gym and work out. And I would post little snippets of me working out, not thinking nothing of it. And then, and then I started seeing it getting on blogs and this yep. and that. I'm like, oh my God, I screwed up <laughs> what again, have I done? dude. I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> but thank God that phone call never, never came. Yeah, I, think Costin, I think it flew I think under Costin the radar. I think skating yeah. in uh, the pair as well. So it was like, you weren't the only okay. one. Like, so, yeah. Took some of the heat off. Yeah, yeah, okay. if the boss is, uh, if Costin is skating, you know, doing that, then yeah, maybe I, I flew under the radar. Paul, you, you were in a, ad for Virgil's off-white uh the 50 dunks did you have a relationship with him I know that he skated a little bit yeah as well. a very small one I mean I had met him once briefly at uh Complex Con mm -hmm. back in 2017 since then just just through DMs a little here and there mm -hmm. um but I didn't know him like real real good or nothing but you know I, I, I was grateful to have been able to have some interactions with that spot was such a good one too special. because it kind of referenced the history of Nike SB spots mm -hmm. yeah. that's the one with me and KB right yeah. or, or Ken Bradley's the one yeah okay did he ever send you any of the handwritten did, pairs yeah what, do you remember what oh he not not sorry not the pairs he, he sent me a um like a louis vuitton bag with the grip tape and the wax and a little note like you know just want to acknowledge you know he was saying i'm sending these boxes out to, to some of my favorite skaters and want to acknowledge you as one you know so that was real special but i did i was skating in one of his uh the louis v all over print jeans i think he did it nico right Nigo. yeah yeah, yeah. I, so i went out and did a street trick in him, and uh, he saw it and hit me on the DM like, "Wow, legend!" Blah, blah blah. I was like, "Dude, thank you, appreciate it." And then so from there, we talked a few more times, just yeah. a little, little, little back and forth. But you know, that that was special to me. Talking about tricks, what shoes were you wearing when you landed at Impossible Alley? Those are the the Dodger dunks. Bro, how did you just learn that trick, bro? Uh, bro, I, it just happened. It, um, I, we were skating with my boy, our friend Roy. We were, we were talking about uh, Chris Cole, another legendary skater. And Chris Cole is Roy's favorite. And we were watching Chris Cole videos yesterday before we left the house. Mm -hmm. He just was like, I want to play Chris Cole in a game of skate one day, one day. So I was like, all right, Roy, well, I've got some experience playing Chris Cole in a game of skate. Maybe I'll help. I'll be like Mickey and you'll be rocking. Yeah, I'll help train, train you, man. So we went out and I was like, let me, well, let me see what kind of tricks you got going on, man. And he, he was like, well, Holly Impossible is one I do. And I was like, oh, I don't got that one, bro. I, got, I can't help you with that one. And so he actually sat there and explained me, gave me the tip on how to wrap. I could never get it to wrap around. Uh, maybe 10, 15 minutes later, I had landed one. It, it was it was really great to know that 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 feeling of excitement as a little kid is still there. Yeah, you know? Getting a new trick. that's yeah. what I'm talking old about. Old dog, new it, trick. Old dog, new trick. Come man. on, don't let them tell you you can't. You know, now I'm an impossible guy. Hey, come made on. the impossible <laughs> possible. <laughs> <you know? laughs> hey, Paul. Um, every single week here on the show, we punish someone in the worst take section for something terrible they did or said last week. Oh wow! As decided by the YouTube commenters, who make okay. them switch out their shoes for something awful. This week it is my friend Wealthy for that joke. I mean, I know you were struggling to pronounce the name of who designed the shoe, but I thought you pronounced it Nikki Diamonds. But you gonna give him your shoes you got on your foot? Unlike unlike your impossible, he didn't oh, land it. Wow. So, I don't know. Oh. Here's a question. So oh, he's trying to he's trying to cop a plea right now. I think Paul. What I think, the hell I, is this even? I think you'd be a good good person on insight for it. <laughs> he's so, just trying to get oh, the joke oh, off oh, again. Oh, 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 <laughs> talk about it. Talk about it. So there was there's a pair of. Uh, my brother P, we also do a segment on this show called Drip, Flip, or Skip. Drip meaning it looks good. Flip meaning you resell. And skip meaning that you won't rock with it at all. Our first shoe in Drip, Flip, or Skip is going to be the Nike Phone Posit 1 Metallic Red with a new leather upper. If you got a problem with this, come fight me, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dripping them. You ever skated in foams? Mm -mm. Would you? 
They're kind of heavy. It'd be a good flex, but it right, wouldn't, right, right. It wouldn't it would, actually work well. I don't, well, I don't but... think it would actually flex. Like no, should... yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, I see what you did there. Yeah, it'd be a like, nice little like Instagram post flexing your, you know, your Steve. Like skating but... in Tim's almost. Yeah, I, I, mean, I remember when these came out the last time. All I needed was the eggplants back then. So I don't think I'll have FOMO. Huh? If I skip these, so. Dad jokes. Good job. <laughs> skip for me as well. I'm happy that the foams are coming back and I'm here for the foam coming, but not oh. Oh. Really? Ooh, yeah. boys I just remember out. those. I want the blues or like you yeah, said, the true, but Get the emoji going off. Oh, let me stop. Uh, let me stop you while you're ahead. I just can't see how these shoes are not loved by the uh, more seasoned gentlemen on this uh, couch. Paul, I feel like they would have had to at least send you the Supreme foam posits back in the day. I'm not sure, man. Maybe. It's, it gets blurry. This man's owned a lot of shoes. If, if it's not an SB, I don't necessarily get them sent. Otherwise, we get the all Nike athletes get the access to the Nike Elite account, and you can like go on there and yeah. pick other things outside of SB. Maybe throw me but on you don't, Buddy Pass. Maybe we'll <laughs> we'll talk. We'll talk. Is that like sharing your next Netflix account with? Kind of, yeah. Hey. Except probably better. Yeah, I'm gonna say it again. These are a drip. Um, super I, I happy. Drip oh, no, these are super good. Yeah. These are super good. Mm -hmm. um, shoe number two. Hey, born and raised. Yep. Times Nike yep. SB Dunk Low. Shout out to these guys, man. Yeah. P, I'll start with you. Drift up or skate. This is a drip. I got these in my bag. I was where I'm, I brought them on this trip. You got them right now. Yeah, look at that swoosh. Look at that toe box. It's a beautiful shoe. I like these a lot. Born and raised, a great brand. Shout out Sponto. Mm -hmm. Drip. Yeah, I, I don't get in the way of shoes that look like they're supposed to be doing what the hell they're supposed to be doing. These are <laughs> skate shoes. Yeah. Kids, go skate these. This is a drip. Good job, yeah, guys. Yeah. Uh, shoe number three. Ugh, our brother Action Bronson with the La Palazzo. Um, cool colorway, well, T already flexed these. Don't ask me when these <laughs> come out yet. But yeah. I'm ask again, Drift Flipper Skip. Yeah, these are great shoes. I know people are still debating which one's better, this or the other one, or the Baklava colorway. Which one is better? I like the first one more, but I really, these are like a one, one A, one B, so Drip. Okay. I don't even know if I'm contra contractually allowed? You... allowed to speak on that. Uh, uh, but to so be honest, skip, skip the whole honestly, conversation. All this damn shit that you done did, Pete, you can goddamn nah, comment I, on this. I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm playing. <laughs> I'm like, hey, shout out to Axon Bronson, I'm a fan, hey. but I don't think I can pull these shoes off, so for me, it's a, a skip. Okay. I like these big drip, beautiful blue. Reminds me of the vast lapis lazuli blue of the open ocean sky. Brings a tear to my eye. Wow. Yeah, um, I'm biased to action. We did the double XL freshman cover. Anybody on that cover, they can't do no wrong in my eyes. So I see my brother create something. Drip, drip, drip. P, we also do outfits on this segment. And I All think right. the outfits that we have to do are P Rod outfits. Let's go. Oh, oh, wow. Okay, who dressed through here? Pops. Yeah, this is the we real did our Rod own. We, we did our own. That's the real Rod Father. Uh, Mr. Cartoon gave me those shoes, actually. Uh, let's talk about it. No yeah, cartoons. Those... This is real life. No, I, yes, correct, <laughs> correct, correct. But th those were given to me by him. And, uh, Amazing. Well, what is this, Father Sunday? What's happening here? He's got he, the Plan he B was... shirt on, but this is Plan P. There we go. Jeez, you don't stop with it, huh? Yeah, Air Force <laughs> Ones, but your dad was actually in the Air Force. Oh, uh, oh wow. Shit. That's that's some Narwhal shit. You gotta drop shit. a tape yeah. now, bro. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta drop a diss track that, or something. That is some Narwhal <laughs> shit right there. Wow. Oh, that, that he was doing some photo shoot with some magazine then, and I just happened to be around and said what up to him. And Would he wear the P-Rods as well? Yeah, yeah. I used to always make sure he had them. Cause I want him to know that you got your name on a shoe, Dad. Amazing. So yeah. I must ask, P, is this a drip, a flip, or a skip, sir? Uh, mine or his? <laughs> you can't talk about pops. He, <laughs> <laughs> he earned it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He earned it. Okay. So I was feeling myself back then, so I'm gonna say it was a drip. Yeah, I'm feeling it right now. It's a trip. Look at how crispy those things are. I just wish we could see what, what he has on feet. Some, hard some nice suede, something or other. Okay. Yeah, I mean, seeing you in those Air Force Ones, it also brings me back to your uh, your Cinco de Mayo. P rods. Yeah, that era was good, yeah. As well, so just huge drip. Um, this is a drip. This kind of just feels like that skate swag. Like this is what skate outfits should look like. Like, you know, it's not doing a lot, but it's doing yeah. everything. I don't know, the shoes, the white tee. Thanks. Outfit number two, man, let's go. Uh -huh. Okay. All right, we're going for entourage wow. casting. Let's there go. we go. There we go. <laughs> Come on, there we go. ladies, watch out. <laughs> that was the, the the party launch party of yeah. my first shoe. What a time! Yeah. I mean, how was this moment, bro? Oh, dude, it was unbelievable. Everybody I ever knew showed up. Shout out to Lee Smith in the background right yeah. there. That's crazy. Nice. 
young, but I was 20. Look, I still had acne. <laughs> yeah. No man. beard? No beard, barely. Oh my beard. God. Oh, man. The hair was good then. The hair was the good. Hair, the hair was I'm good. This is 2005, so. This is right when Jay-Z what, told you bring out the yeah. button. Well, it was, yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly, exactly. It was on my Jay-Z, but he was he was president of Def Jam this time. This was before Kingdom Come, but this yeah. was like in that era, yeah, yeah. after the Black Album. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Colin, yeah. Colin Strop. All the streetwear guys sort of. try to dress it up a little yeah. bit. No, 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 yeah, no, 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 yeah, I see. Yeah. Fonsworth Bentley. Yeah, I mean, you take it back to, to your first shoe, and it's crazy to like see you holding it in the first moment and then seeing the, the blanket element on the shoe on your foot mm -hmm. yeah. right, right yeah. here, right yeah. now. Yeah. So it's yeah. just like this huge 360 moment. And also shout out the blog era and the watermark, prod84.com. Uh -huh. Hey. Trip. Yeah, I just, I, I want to be a fly on the wall. I want to know everybody that was in the room. I know Michael Hernandez was in there somewhere. Oh, I want to know, sure he's in you know, there. what type of Nike execs were in the building that yeah, day. Everybody. Yeah, everybody. This is a historical drip for me. Hey, this is a ridiculous fucking sweater piece. <laughs> but it's amazing. It was Burberry, it's Burberry, man. Five. It's five. <laughs> did, you, yeah. did you tie your own tie for this or did you have I honestly you don't remember. Probably somebody had it show me. <laughs> It might have even been a clip-on. I love that. <laughs> Let's go. Let's I, I go. wouldn't be surprised if it was clip-on, yeah. Spoken like a true hustler. <laughs> um, this is a flip, man. I'm about, flipping? Man, I'm flipping the shoes, that motherfucking Burberry sweater, <laughs> or whatever, like, That's, this, yeah, this true, is an NFT true. picture right here. You know what I'm saying? No oh, beard. Okay, feet. okay. Come on, man. Like, this uh. is crazy. Next outfit. Let's get it. Hey. Okay, this is more recent. Well, I must actually pee. Is this a drip? Is this a flip or is it a skip right in front I of me? I gotta you? stop asking. I, I gotta stop answering about my own outfits. I mean, you know, like, especially because this was only like a year ago. I decided to walk out of the house wearing that. Yeah. So I yeah. guess yeah. I guess I stand liked it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I, I, guess, so. I gotta stand on my outfit. You no, know, this is my I mean? depression outfit. No, like, come on. Uh, yeah. You know, I was just, I was actually, uh, I had a sprained ankle that day. Mike, yeah. my boy Mike back here was with me. We were with my boy Manny Santiago, and he wanted to film a, a trick on that rail there. So I just wanted to come hang out and chill. I liked it, I guess. I, I guess I'll go drip. But it's just weird <laughs> a, talking about my own <laughs> outfits, you know? I understand. <laughs> Side note, being a Nike athlete, I've been asking this, this question just to athletes. Low tops or high tops for ankle support? I'm going to say for mobility, low tops. Mm -hmm. For if you really want more support and you're going to actually tie your high tops like the way they're the intended top. to yeah. choke them up sure they, they'll probably get more support but you're not going to get that flex when you want to do a kickflip and all that so i'm gonna go low tops but not for support uh, for mobility okay i like this shoe a lot shout out to pelly i wish i had these it's the pink pigs right the lows yeah mm -hmm. yeah it's a great shoe you wore it the right way the nice. outfit the outfit makes sense so thanks trip yeah i'm not against this um Seeing your outfits over the years, you know, you keep it straight to the point. It's like, we're going to put okay. on a good shoe. We're going to have something to match it up top. Yeah, it's pretty basic, man. I just like, yeah, I just try to I try to match if I can, you know. And this is a trip for me, too. Hmm. Paul, before we get out of here for the day, we want to breeze to the comment section and see what people have been saying about us on hey. YouTube for the past week. Okay. Which is always a fun time. Okay. We have one from Giovanni Luna 1636 saying, watch this on the way to take my state contractor's test and I passed. Good vibes, the show is top. Hey. Nice. Wow. Okay. Congrats. Congratulations to you. Yes, Professor yes. Safari says, can someone tell me why Wealthy doesn't like Puma? Wealthy, do you have it? It's not a good sneaker brand. Okay, it's as simple as that. Ignorant Enlightenment 545 says, currently at the hospital awaiting the arrival of my first child Wow. And the newest member of the FS Army. Shout out to Shout you. Shout out. Wow. Hey, okay. make sure that the baby subscribes. That's right. <laughs> Please do that and show him this episode. <laughs> I'm your co-host, Brendan Dunn. I'm Matt Welty. Trinidad James. I'm P-Rod. Thank Thanks you. Thanks for having me, guys. We appreciate it. My pleasure, man. Thank you, guys. It means a yes, lot. Yes, key. Absolutely. Brother. Thank you, guys. It's a pleasure. What are we going to do with this? Save that. Let's put it back in the shoebox and save it. <laughs> Might as well. Pump, pump it up with some air. In every color, that's a full size. Buy six for my kids, bought a seven for my chick, my island boys. <laughs> Just hanging out here on the couch. <laughs> Subscribe. And then we need you, like we always do, every time we sit here, we're the new outcast, by the way. What? And I ask you to subscribe to our show. You watch the episode, but your work is not done yet. We need your support now more than ever. Like all the videos, comment on all the videos, make your whole family watch all the videos, only say good things about us. Put our show in your stories. Share it.
recycle it, do it again, start over, watch the first season, catch up. Family gatherings, just throw it on for, for any reason. Island boys!